Hey guys, Jerry with 3D HP. RF laser time. How TM Lasers, Pascal Lou. We'll get into it right after this. And you're not going to believe what just arrived a few days ago. Check this out. Let's fire it up. Make some noise. I don't hear thunder, but I do hear how TN. This is their RF40. It's HT. Their RF laser, which is radio frequency, not a CO2 laser. You don't have to mess with water no more. It has an RF tube in the back, which is metal. It's got three or four pans, four pans along the top. They keep it cool, and man, this is so cool. This is a desktop version, and it was a chore getting it in here. I'll show you some pictures and a couple little clips. But yeah, it weighs like 215, 220 pounds. Amazing machine. On my white burn license, I had to pay for it. I think it's DSP license. It was like an additional $60 to go with my G-code slash Galvo license. And then I have it plugged in via USB. There's two ports here on the side. I'm plugged into the top one. But this is an amazing machine. It's got air shocks on the lid. I'll show you a close-up, but it's got a knife bed. It's got a honeycomb bed. It does not have a camera. No big deal. I can install one fairly real easy. And I'll mount it inside the lid. It doesn't have a crumb tray. No big deal. I'll figure that out. But it's such a beautiful unit. It's ha it has an autofocus. The bed is auto-leveling. It is Wow, it's, it's got a Ruida controller right here, which when I got it was in Chinese, and I had to figure out how to get it in English. Man, it's, this is so cool. Um, this is not the home it's going to stay in. I moved my equipment down, my Lasermatic Mark II, and my Halkian uh, 50, 60 watt Galvo laser. I shoved it down. It's too high, I can't really get through all the sides. I'm going to build a two foot by two, a two foot table off the floor with casters, three quarter plywood, and then get a couple people to help me set this down. Then I'm going to move all this resin stuff you can't really see. I've got some resin printers, washing cure, all that over here. I'm going to move all that somewhere else, and I'll put that unit over here. Then I can kind of work on it like this. And then I'll run my exhaust tube up and over and down. Um, it's got a six inch fan in the back which is currently exhausting everything. <laughs> that is tied into my system with waste gates, or I've got, you know, gates to, depending on what the equipment's going to, my ANC Infinity fan exhausting everything outside of the house. But yeah, it's a beautiful unit, has a pass-through on it. It's very quick. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it comes with air assist. It's built in, the exhaust fan is built in. Plenty of lighting. You can currently hear running, see how loud it is. Let me turn on my AC Infinity. Okay, that's turned all the way up. You might be able to hear it. But it comes with a lot of it, some accessories, which I'll show you a picture of them here. They're in there on the table. They're in another room right now. I literally have no room in here to put anything. Um, some nice, really nice safety glasses. And even though this is tinted, I'm not sure what its rating is. It looks like smoke glass. Always wear your safety glasses to be safe when you're around this machine. Even if you've got the cover down, you only have one pair of eyes. Wear your safety glasses when you're working around any type of laser and have proper ventilation. It has a red light on the top, which I haven't controlled any jobs through the controller, but I assume that turns red when it's working or when it's not, one or the other. It comes with a CD-ROM, <laughs> not a USB stick, yeah, I know. I have a computer out in the garage that's got a CD-ROM, I went and checked it. It's got instructions for using this laser with a Ruida controller. I'm running it with Lightburn. Like I said, download the DSP driver license with $60 to add to my existing licenses and I got it hooked up in Lightburn working fine. Autofocus, I'm going to little autofocus, home, everything. But yeah, let's do a quick walk around and let's check it all out. And you know something really amazing about this machine? Get this, $4,500 shipped to the U.S. That's it, $4,500 shipped. And it's a 40 watt RF laser, which is probably comparable to like a 60 watt CO2. I'm guessing 60, 70 watt CO2. 
You don't have to deal with water no more. It has a much finer dot size. It can cut much more precise work than you can with a CO2. I'll show you all the specs on the screen. You'll see all that too. But it's fast, it's quick, it can do beautiful work. Currently, I've, I've been playing with some settings in Lightburn to get some test cards. What does what for cutting? And I'll have to tweak some settings. Oh, man, it's great. Oh, and, it's, and that, if you buy this laser online with the link I'll provide down below in the description and on the screen, I'll have a picture of it. You have to buy it now if you want it. Pascal with How Tan will refund you $100 if you mention Jerry with 3D HP. You'll get $100 back if you mention me when you order. And you get extra lenses and some mirrors with it too. A very cool, beautiful machine. Yes, I got this for free. No, I didn't pay for it. I'm testing and reviewing this machine. They were nice enough to send it to me. Wonderful company. They've been around. I think they started back in like 2003. I'll show you a picture of the company here at the end of the video. But yeah, um, wonderful people to work with. If you have any problems, they're very quick to respond on Facebook Messenger or by email. You know, I'm willing to help you out. Mark or Pascal are right there. I'm not sure what other people you deal with, but those are the two men that I deal with. with Pas Matter of fact, here's Pascal right here. That's Pascal Lou right there. I cut this out of my another one of my lasers and I printed it out and glued him on there. So now whenever I need any advice, I just ask Pascal. He's right there. <laughs> anyway, let's do kind of a walk around. Let's check everything out. And uh, yeah, here we go. Yep, that's me. Looks like it's been opened by customs, I guess. Alrighty, I'm on my back patio. I've got part of it unboxed. It uh, came apart real easy. Just used a little pry bar and a hammer. It's still wrapped in cellophane. It was very well packaged, as you can see, in all that styrofoam there. Very tight. We ended up tipping it up on end. My son helped me, and uh, we rolled it around the back on a two-wheeler. It's right there. But yeah, it appears to be in perfect condition. Now to get a little turn it on its side. Get it through the doorway there and get it at its new home. So we'll see how it goes. Let me walk around another side here and take a peek. Yeah, it's a beautiful machine, man. Las Vegas lights so bright, 3D HP takes flight. Hoist and laser lights, dreams so high in sight. Pascal in motion, coaches feel devotion. I'm from the dollars, delivered with emotion. Well, a hundred now you see, mention 3 HP. Las Vegas life's so free, ocean's the key. You see a four-shirt sifted glow in the desert show. Shining down below, feel the power flow. Out the door it flies, magic in your eyes. Hold your life to skies, all your dreams arise. Plus, got to know you see. Hold just pure HP. Foy thinks I'm the god who drove you. Ocean's the key. Save a hundred now you see. Okay, there's a 40 watt RF laser. I'll be able to film from left and right side until I get a new table built where I can move the location. So we got four large fans in the top. And let me go around to the other side. It has uh, exhaust vent grates. Beautiful machine. And then we got the air vents right there. And then on the left side, there's two air vents down there below. 
and all the panels on the sides you have to take an allen and there's a bolt inside each one of these you can unscrew to open up the panels if you need to get inside of them all right here's a bunch of the accessories to come with it now i have the knife blades in the laser now here's a honeycomb bed we have extra lenses and mirrors that came with it allens uh, different adapters that go on the rotary assembly different cords for connecting it up um, network cable and then your usb cables keys for unlocking different panels in the machine yes <laughs> it came with a cd and i do have a second computer out in the garage where i was able to pop it in and copy the files over it's for software for to control the rarita controller and i put them onto a usb stick it has some different test cards here that are done in acryl clear acrylic it's at 300 millimeters a second 500 800 hopefully you can see that clearly and another one here some more samples done at 300 millimeters a second 500 and then it's like 800 bottom one that didn't come out very good it's kind of blurry there on the bottom so here's the second one here it'll be a duplicate of the first one came out really good some very nice safety glasses for laser you can see them real good so and then that's accessories for the chuck in the box there and uh, yeah that's what it came with it in the box okay with the door down it really swings down out of the way and there's one that you right earlier when I was in my test cards I've taken out the knife blade bed the honeycomb bed just simply sits in there. I thought it would lock in position. But as you can see, it doesn't drop down in the slot. It kind of floats on top. So if you want to have exact coordinates or get something exactly the same every time, I'd suggest pushing it back all the way to the rear. And you know, have it in the same position every time. But I don't see any kind of notches or anything to keep it in position. I guess you could possibly you know, mount something on it to hold it down or tape it down, whatever it may be, something to hold it in place, double sided tape or something, if you were going to use that bed all the time. But yeah, like I say, it's got a bright light on both sides. The fan currently isn't running, there's not a job going. But I use the Ruina controller to bring the bed down to tape in this part of the video. I don't know that I'll be using that controller much, unless I need a new job with the machine or do something with it. But I'm running everything from Lightbird. But if I should need to, I do have that option right there on it. And those test cards that I did a bit ago, I'm just tinkering around with some settings to show you what I got here. And these are the only two things I've done so far. Well, I tried to test for in a little tiny picture and it wasn't coming out right. So I'll have to work on that and then I'll do my next couple videos. And I'll be doing many, many, many videos to come in the future of this machine. So. Look, very cool. Very happy with it. And we made it to the end of the video. Yay! <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank all my channel members here on YouTube. I'll list them here on the screen. Thank you to each and every one of you. And I'll be listing on TikTok more. I started... I kind of do stuff there once in a blue moon. The last couple days I posted a few videos on this machine. They'll be out before this video is. But if you want an awesome deal, in my opinion, $4,500 shipped to the U.S. is an amazing price. There's a few things I have to do too. Like I said, the camera. Crumb tray might not be a big deal. I noticed when I hooked up the USB, it did come with a couple of the network cable. came up with a couple other cables. I don't really see anywhere to plug those in. So I don't know if those were just in the... Uh, the deal that came with it that they happen to have in the batch or what. But I only see where I can plug in with USB. Don't have a problem with it. Network cable, if there's a hidden plug somewhere, I haven't seen it yet. I can't easily get to the back of the machine. All these reasons, it weighs 220 pounds and it's on a table and I can't move it around. But like I said, I'm going to build a rolling table in the next few days. It's going over here. You can kind of see it on camera. I got two resin printers, Peel Poly Forge, uh, Uniformation GK2, Washington Cure Station. I need to move all this. And that's going to, this home will be over here because this room is only so big. And I was going to go in the garage originally, but I live in Las Vegas. It is hot in my garage. Even with fans, I figured it might be okay. No, I'll just leave it in the house. And actually, this used to be my patio. 
I put that wall up and enclosed my patio. This is under my roof. It was in an, it was a patio built underneath the house. I enclosed it and made this my resin slash laser room. So anyway, please like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below. Share out this video. I'm trying to grow my channel. Get a hold of Pascal. Buy this laser. Buy any of their products. Mention 3D HP, and you'll get a hundred dollars off on what you're, what you're buying on their laser machines. Their fiber lasers, galva lasers. They got all kinds of cool products. And Pascal Lou is a man that I deal with. You can find him over on his Facebook group. And yeah, until the next video, everybody have an awesome day and happy laser engraving. Later. Oh yeah, links below to all the stuff in the video. Links below in the description. Underneath the video it says description or it says show more. Click show more and it'll have links there where it says show more. And then right below that you can leave a thumbs up, you can leave me a comment. Really appreciate it. Later guys.